Hey, Tanner here with Triple Threat RC, and today we're gonna I'm gonna show you another helpful tip. This one being on how and where and of course with what the materials you're gonna need to mount any of your electronics in any car. It doesn't have to be short course, could be any stadium truck, you know, buggies, anything electric nitro. It's you know, well, of course, nitro doesn't have speed controllers and stuff, but you know anything but you know for anything just any mounting um, so yeah let's get started here are just a few things that you will absolutely need for mounting any electronics anywhere start off with this now this is just scotch heavy duty double sided sticky tape foam tape whatever um, awesome stuff this stuff I recommend this way better than any scotch <laughs> don't get anything low quality you want the heavy stuff uh, that's the only thing that's going to hold it in. Um, another thing good is 3M tape, which of course you should know that. That stuff is absolutely great. Um, and then next up are these. Zip ties. Um, you can get these in just about any size you want. These are my small ones, going to pack of 100. You are going to need these regardless for mounting anything, just overall anything. Then you got your big ones. You're gonna need uh, as many sizes as you can get, which I just prefer. You can get a medium one, but I just got big and small. Uh, See, so yeah. And then the last thing are scissors. Uh, these are just body cutting scissors. These aren't necessarily, or <laughs> not necessarily a necessity. You don't really need these, but good to have for cutting any if you screw up. Also, to pry this tape off because this is some tough stuff. Um, yes, so basically, this is all you need. Uh, there's several other things you can find, get used, you know, whatever. I'm sure you can think of more than just this, but these are the basics of mounting anything. Okay, so I'm going to start off by mounting my receiver. Now, here's my cord coming from my speed controller. Let me get scissors go ahead and cut me off a piece of, give me a piece of tape I always do this first just kind of lay it on the bottom take it across Got it. get it well pressed to the surface you want it to be good so it gets good on there now also if you have remnants from other speed controllers that have been on there, like uh, that have had foam tape, like for mine, you want to get that off as much as possible. Uh, you can use rubbing alcohol, stuff like that, to get that off. Um, and really, this stuff works so good, you don't need it. You just need to let it sit for a little bit, uh, and it will stay very, very good. All right, uh, peel the bottom off. Put it where you need it. What? I think I might switch sides here. Nah, I'm good. Alright, I'm gonna put it right here. Exactly where I had it before. Just press it down good, exactly like this. See? Alright, so now you got your uh, radio receiver. Uh, mounted on there. Now if you also have transponders, the thing to use of course is just a little velcro on the bottom. This is my transponder. Uh, use uh, trackmateracing.com I think. Anyway, that's the velcro and then I have heavy duty velcro on my car too. Right there on top of my servo. Definitely heavy duty just in case. Just in case always. So I've got that right on top of my servo. Good place to have it so it shines up through your windshield. Um, of course, this is a short course. You know, you may have it different on other ones, but you always want it at the tip of your, the nose of your car so when you go through, you know, it gets you first in case it's a close win or close finish. Okay, next up we're going to do speed controller. Get my Velcro out of the way. Make sure your cords go under if you have Velcro. You may you probably don't have Velcro. I use it. Get 
very good. Velcro is awesome. One better than the stock battery holder that comes with the SC10. Press that on there just like just like the last one. Pull your bottom off. Very simple, but I mean, you need to make sure you do everything like this, and you make sure you have the right materials as key. You don't want to push it too bad where you break anything, but you definitely want to get good adhesion. Um, so that's on there now. Now for your switch. Good tip for your switch when you do it. All right, see this, it's off right now. Let me zoom in on this. All right, that right there is it off. Ah, if you turn it on and it's going this way and you happen to hit uh, hit something when you're racing bam your car's off see because my front of the car's there so it'll hit it and turn it off so what you need to do instead of mounting it with the switch facing this way mount it inside so if something happens to hit it it will keep it on so definitely a good tip there now let's get a piece cut up for that real quick You don't really want to do that and pull it back off. You know, you're probably going to need a new piece. But with a switch, don't worry about it. It's just a little bit switch. It doesn't have enough weight. Make sure your surface where you're sticking this to is clean. I'm not really doing that right now because I'm trying to get through this video fast. I've got all that carpet fuzz in here. That's getting underneath there. But this stuff holds it. Trust me. Now, if you run right after you mount this, it may not be as good. If you're going to run right after you mount, this stuff's good too, but you need a clean surface. Um, but if you want to run right after you mount, 3M tape is the stuff. Man, that stuff is awesome. Okay, so now I got speed controller mounted. Um, uh, my <laughs> radio mounted. Now I'm just going to hook everything in. Hook that steering. This is the throttle, and then my um, transponder. We're going to auxiliary, uh, and then here comes the uh, here come the uh, zip ties. This is where they come in handy. Get your cords out of your way. The best way to do it. as tight as possible scissors is why it's good Test scissors snip it off and it's mounted right there your cords aren't going anywhere uh, you could further mount it anywhere else you wanted to of course I didn't use my big ones I'm getting ready to use that with to mount some battery foam in here for my SC10 to adjust some stuff um, so yeah that is awesome helpful tips for mounting any electronics that you have. Oh, and a quick reminder before you go. Um, don't forget to get on our website. It will be right there. No, wait. There. There it is. Both ways. Either way. Anyway, www.tripletreatrc.webs.com We don't have that many members yet. We just started. It's got, got We try to get all the... Uh, bugs out of it and get it looking good and we do um, got all sorts of good stuff on there it's specifically for this channel it's not meant to be a copycat for any other RC thing um, just for this channel advertise our helpful tip videos any of our videos um, get on there and remember I've already made a video of this but you know just want to remind you thanks for watching